Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ace Education. How are you guys? I'm good. You know, first I decided not to make any more videos on the empirical formula question, but I found one very good question from the AQA textbook. Let's see, and we will do that question. It could be my final question on the empirical formula, but you will enjoy this question. See, why I'm stressing this question, you know, in this question, directly mass of the carbon and mass of the hydrogen is not given. So it's a, it is a type of combustion question. From that, we have to work out the empirical formula and the molecular formula. Let's start. X is an organic compound, which on combustion, we will get carbon dioxide molecule and water okay the mass of the x is given to you on combustion you will get the mass of the water molecule and the mass of the carbon dioxide so first we can work out mole of carbon dioxide mole of co2 mass over it's mr 0 0.44 divided by 44 which is equals to 0 0.01 okay 0 0.01 mole of carbon dioxide in the same way work out the mole of h2o mass over mr mass is given 0 0.27 gram over 18 which is nothing but 0 0.015 use the calculator Okay, we got the mole of carbon dioxide and we got the mole of H2O. Now, look at that. One, one mole of CO2 gives one mole of carbon. One is to one ratio. Or you can say the carbon dioxide formed from one carbon of X and one mole of h2o gives two mole of hydrogen atom look at the h2o so to make h2o we need two hydrogen atom okay from that moles we can work out their grams so what is the actual mole of carbon dioxide gas 0 0.01 0 0.01 mole mole of 0 0.01 mole mole of co2 gives 0 0.01 mole of carbon mole of carbon from that you can figure out its mass okay and and 0 0.015 mole of H2O gives 0 0.015 times by 2. Why times by 2? Because I have two hydrogen. Mole of which is equals to 0 0.03 mole of hydrogen. Now from that mode, we can figure out their masses okay if you don't mind can i can i rub some part of the question because i don't have enough space let's rub this one okay and this part also we know the moles of the carbon dioxide and we know we know the moles of the water molecule now so next step is work out the mass of the carbon mass of carbon atom carbon equals to mole time its ar what's the mole we got it not point not one mole time 12 which is equals to 0 0.12 gram of carbon of c now 
mass of hydrogen equals to mole time its AR. What's the mole of hydrogen? 0 0.03 mole time 1, which is equals to 0 0.03 gram. Add them up. Add the masses of carbon and hydrogen. So 0 0.12 plus 0 0.03. 0 0.012, 0 0.03, 0 0.15 gram of carbon plus hydrogen. So take off that many gram from the actual mass of the X compound. Okay. To work out the mass of the oxygen that it contains. So mass of oxygen atom equals to 0 0.23 gram which is the actual mass of a compound take away mass of hydrogen and a mass of carbon which is 0 0.15 which is equals to 0 0.08 that's the mass of the oxygen atom which is already contained in x now, with that mass of oxygen atom, you can figure out its mole. So find out the moles of the oxygen atom because we have to get the molar ratio. So mole of oxygen, mole of O2, sorry, oxygen atom, not oxygen molecule, oxygen equals to mole of the oxygen atom oxygen atom mass over its AR mass is given not point not eight just now we work out not given divided by 60 which is equals to not point not not five use the calculator now we know the mole of hydrogen carbon mole of the carbon mole of the carbon we got it Somewhere. So mole of the hydrogen, mole of the carbon, and mole of the hydrogen, and mole of the oxygen. Let's see. So molar ratio, molar ratio equals to carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. What's the molar ratio of carbon? Not point not one. Hydrogen no point not three and oxygen not point not not five so check which one is the smallest one this one is the smallest one sorry this one is the smallest one so divide this number with all the numbers divided by not point not not five divided by not point not not five divided by not point not not five this is equals to one this is equals to 2, this is equals to 6. So, use your calculator. Now we got the empirical formula. What is the empirical formula? See, the empirical formula is equals to 2 carbon, 6 hydrogen and 1 oxygen. Empirical formula equals to C2 H6O. With that empirical formula, can we work out its molecular formula? Yes, because MR is given. Now we can figure out its molecular formula. Let's see. So my previous video I have given one short formula to crack the molecular formula from the empirical formula anyway so molecular formula divided by empirical formula all these molecular molecular formula come from its MR and empirical formula is equals to empirical formula mass 
So, m molecular formula, we don't know, x divided by empirical formula, just now you got it, C2, H6O. What's the MR given in the question? 46 divided by, work out its empirical formula mass, C2, H6, O, carbon 12 times 2 plus 6 hydrogen plus 16 oxygen, 24 plus 6 plus 16, I think which is equals to 46. So, empirical formula and the molecular formula for this question is same, which is equals to one time. So, x equals to, x equals to empirical formula. Molecular formula and empirical formula, it's same for this question. So, x equals to C2 H6 O times 1, which is C2 H6 O. If you figure out what's the actual higher, actual organic compound is that, which has one oxygen atom, I think it's alcohol, ethanol, CH3, CH2, OH. Ethanol on combustion means ethanol on burning. Ethanol is highly flammable, so on burning it gives, it gives carbon dioxide molecule and water molecule. For the combustion of ethanol, we need oxygen. We have to use the oxygen atom or oxygen molecule. I will show you in my future videos what is the chemical reaction of combustion and how to balance when we do the combustion of hydrocarbon or organic compounds. Okay, guys. So, I think this is enough on empirical formula question. Hopefully, so did you enjoy this question? So, we have done modes, empirical formula, molecular formula, and we worked out how to calculate the mass of the given compound from the moles. I just quickly go through it so that you have an idea about all in one go, like molecular formula, empirical formula, moles, mass, how to work out the mass of the product from the re reactant. I want to go through it very quickly. Let's see which formula is applicable to work out the mass. What's the formula of mole? I want to go through it. Look at like uh, all these in a flash card. You can make this on the flash card. So mole, you know the mole, mole equals to mass over its AR4 element or mole equals to mass or divided by MR4 compound. And from that, moles, can we work out the mass? Yes, mass equals to mole time its AR, mole mass equals to mole time its MR. And we have, after that, we worked out percentage by mass, percentage by mass, which is equals to AR of any element time number of this element time MR of the compound divided by 100. With that, we can work out the empirical formula and how to look uh, when the percentage by mass is given or when the grams are given in the question how to calculate its empirical formula. So percentage by mass or grams 
of each element of each element each element divided by its ar and it's easy make make a uh, column for example they will normally give you carbon hydrogen and oxygen so make a column work out the mole of carbon a mole of hydrogen mole of oxygen after getting the molar ratio see which one is the smallest number divide it all with the smallest number and whatever the ratio you will get that's its empirical formula so what is meant by the term empirical formula anyone you know that empirical formula is nothing but the simplest ratio of all the elements in the given compound from that empirical formula can we work out its molecular formula yes i have shown you in my previous video anyway one more like like a glossary you you can write everything on your flashcard how to work out the molecular formula from the given empirical formula so molecular formula divided by empirical formula equals to mr which will given in which will provided in the question divided by its empirical formula mass so thanks for watching my video i want to stop this video till that i try to cover the amount of substances in in for the amount of substances or it is also called mole concept in that we already worked how to calculate the mole mass empirical formula empirical formula mass and we already discussed the stoichiometry which is nothing but the balanced form of a chemical equation from that balanced form of a chemical equation we can figure out the amount of the product from the reactant okay guys thank you for watching all these my videos